Owen Strachan asks, can you trust a God who executes judgment? A skeptical culture poses this question to Christians today. I think, however, we can ask a better one in return. Can you trust a God who doesn't execute judgment? I don't think we can. As we look around the world, we see people crying out for justice. Injustice seems to be rife in the eyes of so many. Those who are currently rallying in protests against anti-racism, and then those who rally against the rallies. People are all seeking for justice, but what does justice look like? In human eyes, justice has changed from generation to generation. Laws have come and gone, been overturned. Once what was seen as just behavior has become unjust behavior. So where do we turn for justice? Owen Strachan points out that human justice is limited compared to the righteous and final justice of God. But if that's the only place we're going to find justice, should we fight for it now? In Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, he urges them to have hope that through their suffering and trial, they will find the justice of God. But he doesn't say, don't fight for justice. In fact, he is saying that through your faith in ultimate justice, act justly. He continues with that theme throughout chapter 2 when he speaks about the man of lawlessness and indeed in chapter 3 when he encourages Christian believers not to be idle. When the Thessalonians heard that Christ was going to return, they thought it was going to be soon. Some will have indeed put their feet up and said, well, we'll wait it out then. But Paul is saying, do your work prompted by faith. Because Christ is coming, because there is a justice that is going to come upon the world, start living it out now. We should set our sights on justice in this world. We should ground it in the justice and values we see in God, promoted through Jesus, and written down for us to read in the Bible. Future justice does not give us an excuse to do nothing, but should compel us to act and prepare the way for that divine judgment who will hold all to account. Owen Strachan ends his thoughts with these words. We should be so eternity-minded that we are of some earthly good. If you want to read his whole article, please click the link in the description below. Join us this Sunday as we explore this theme of justice and being made worthy in the eyes of God more deeply. See you then.